So who's that person in your photos? Because that's not you. <gasps> and he was like, no, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm like, that's not you. You look like my uncle. Like, <gasps> oh. He talks about, like, oh, well, he's not ready for a relationship. Okay, so red flag number one and two. He's literally everything I want in a man. And spending the rest of my life with him doesn't seem like such a bad idea. Oh, bro. Hey gems, it's Cinderella OG and welcome back to my channel. So today y'all, I'm going to be doing an interactive live asking for a friend. I'm so excited to do this guys because I know you guys have been craving for another asking for a friend. And I've been wanting to do a solo asking for a friend for a while now as well, but I thought, why not give y'all the advice face to face? So I'm going to be calling two of my lucky gems to go ahead and talk to me about their problems, whether it be boy problems, girl problems, whatever the problems may be. Y'all can go ahead and give me the tea face to face. Now, for those of y'all that don't want to show your face, I will be reading a couple of other letters as well. And I might bring a friend or two to go ahead and aid in giving me advice. Now, guys, if you want to go ahead and get your story heard on asking for a friend, go ahead and send me in your questions through my email, askcinderella at gmail.com. And all that information will also be in the description box down below if you guys don't know, if you're new to the channel. And before you guys go ahead and move on, follow me on Instagram because you know, you know that's where most of my tea is. Like most of what I'm doing, if I'm not on here, is on Instagram. So go check me out, okay? Okay, so that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the first caller. All right, so first we are going to go ahead and call Abigail. So, Abigail girl, I hope you're ready to drop some tea. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. You're so cute. So your name is Abigail? Mm -hmm. Okay, girl, go ahead and spill the tea for me. No, you're like, fine. Okay. So, um, for some reason, like, my ex keeps, like, showing up in a picture. Um, so, like, the dude I'm, like, currently, like, trying to talk to right now is, like, I don't know, I see, like, a lot of, like, similarities, or, like, maybe not even similarities, but it's, like, there's always a reason as to why, like, my ex is, like, trying to come back or, like, still in the picture. And it's, like, sometimes I kind of feel like, oh, my God, am I, like, cursed or something? Girl, trust. It's when you start glowing up, they start like, oh my god. And I'm like, okay, so like, where was this like character, like when we were still talking and like all that stuff? So I'm like, find a way to try to make more, but it's like, it's so hard because like, I don't know, yeah. like, I feel like he's the one who like actually understands me. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't want to go back to him because I know he's not, he's not it. But like, I just feel like maybe because he knows me so well. Um, I feel like he's the only one who, like, actually understands me. But you Maybe have someone else in the picture right now, right? Yeah, yeah, but they don't know each other. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so let me tell you something. The guy that you have in the picture right now, is he doing well? Is he making sure that you're happy? How does he treat you? Um, yeah, because he's always like, oh my God, he thinks about me. And, like, he said, I'm different. And, like, all this other stuff. But I feel like... Any guy can kind of say that, but... Yeah, yeah, actions speak louder than words. Yeah, and I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like, yeah, I I like him, but he talks about, like, or he really likes me, like, doing something, like, the one for him. So he likes you but, more than you like him? Yeah, I think, he, like, he likes me more than I like him. Okay. But he talks about, like, well, he's not ready for a relationship. Okay, so red flag number one and two. <laughs> Um, I've been in situations where people have told me they wanted to be with me. They've told me they like me a lot or they told me that they cared about me a lot, but their actions weren't matching up, especially when it comes to actually committing to something. Now, I was going to say that maybe the actions of your ex might be clouding your judgment of this new guy, but it sounds like he's trash too. When it comes to your ex, <laughs> when it comes to your ex, I'm gonna say your ex should be left in the past. I'm gonna repeat something that my mom has said. An ex is an ex for a reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? When they've shown you those patterns, unless they've shown you actions as to like actual change, there's no reconsideration. There's nothing that you should be reconsidering. You know? I see some changes. I see some changes. Like I feel like I'm 
I see some changes here and there, but like I don't know. I just feel like he's had his turn, and like I, I don't know. I just feel like they wouldn't work anymore. But then this other guy is like, okay, he gets me, he's always coming down, you know, like he's standing me, like all this stuff, which is cool. But it's like, okay, so like, why are you talking to me if you don't see me? So here's the main question. Here's the main question. What do you want? Not from either person, but what do you want in general? Um, honestly, I think, like, I just kind of, like, want to be in a relationship where I can be like, okay, yeah, like, this is my man. Or, like, yeah. And, you know, the goods, you know, the, you know, Girl. Like, but, like, I don't know. He's just, like, oh, um, he's, right now, okay, so the guy's talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> So if you if you feel like you're not getting what you want, I think what what one problem that we always have is that we're afraid to say no or to let someone go out of our lives. So you have to really look within yourself and be like, okay, I know what I'm worth, and if this person isn't feeding that, then why am I sticking around? Why am I looking for the potential rather than looking for what's in front of my face? You know what I mean? So you really have to analyze the actions from both your ex and your new guy. And if neither of them are giving you what you want, there are plenty of other guys out there. But if one of them is or the other one is and they both want to like, you know, show actions, you're not committed to anyone right now. Date around. What's wrong with that? You know what I mean? So until anyone tells you that they want to be committed to you, you have no obligation to anyone. So use this time to explore. But at the first sign of you not getting what you want or you not feeling like you're getting your worth out of it, it's okay to cut it off. Don't be scared to cut it off. I don't know. I just feel like he knows like so much. And it's like, I feel like he also kind of like used that and like a sabotage, but it's like... I don't know. There's like, no I amount of history that can make you stay in a situation that's not for you. No amount of history. I don't know. I feel like I go like 10 steps forward and I come back like 12. And it's like, why am I still like roaming in a circle with this yeah. same dude that has no future? Like, I don't know. But it's like, he always know how to like get me. Yeah. Well, so. you exactly what I said, girl. If it's not feeding you, then it's not for you. But I hope I helped you, boo boo. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's a lot to think about, and it's not going to be cut and dry and solved right away, but you know, just take your time. You're so pretty, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Say cheese. All right, girl. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for being involved. <laughs> Bye. All right, y'all. So that was Abigail. And you guys know, if this applies to you, then go ahead and take that advice. If it doesn't feed you, it's not for you. Period. All right. Now let's go ahead and call Maui. Hey, girl. You are so beautiful. Oh, my God. <laughs> you are gorgeous. I mean, hold on. Like, I'm just... I'm so <laughs> nice to meet you, boo. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I want to I wanna pronounce this right. Your name is Maui? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Ain't nobody can touch me now. Okay, okay. All right. I mean, it's nothing. Okay, so talk to me, girl. What's going on? Okay, so I'm going to try and wrap this up as fast as possible, as quickly as possible. You know, that's how I like it. So basically, like, um, long story short, a while ago, I went on a date, I was on Tinder, you know, we single or whatever, Woo. I went on a date, the guy, he was looking nice, 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 everything was nice, we were talking, and usually when I'm, like, talking to someone through Tinder, if they want to go on, like, an actual date with me, I'd ask them to FaceTime me. Okay, so, that's smart. I'm from Ghana, and he was from Ghana, so that was something we had in common. Oh, okay, so, like, okay. Felt, like, comfortable when we were talking so right off the bat he just called me on the phone and then we just broke, built a relationship off the phone for like a week okay. and then it was time for us to meet up for a date and then um while we were so i let my guard down and i forgot to facetime him and i trusted him um so we went to go meet up for a date and all my friends had my location and everything being safe or whatever good, good, good. and we were gonna meet up halfway because we didn't live in the same city hmm. um so i'm on my way to go meet him and 
another story, another story. He's like, just meet me all the way there. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Meet him all the way there. It's nighttime at this point. Okay. I'm in New York City, like, Oh, Central. no. Uh, exactly. Um, it's nighttime at this point. I meet him up, and I see him across the street from me, and the drip match, so I'm like, yeah, that's definitely him. Okay. And then I cross the street to meet him, and he automatically embraces me and hugs me, and then <laughs> he's holding my hand, and I'm looking at him, and I'm like... Is this the same guy? I'm like, am I bugging right now? I'm like, he looks a little different, but, you know, he has a hat on, and, you know, it's dark, you know what, whatever. We got in his car, it's even darker, and then he just gave me the run around or whatever, and I find, like, when we got to the place we were going, I was like, so who's the person in your photos? Because that's not you. <gasps> and he was like, no, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm like, that's not you. And, like, I'm really, like, I'm, I'm pretty easygoing, so, like, you could just tell me, I'm like, it's obviously not you. It is what it is. Like, you look like my uncle. Like, <gasps> like you know, it is what it is. You could have easily just been honest with me, but I was I was being nice or whatever. So long story short, I got catfished. But I have the person who catfished me. So when we were like on Tinder, like talking and stuff, he gave me his friend's ID. So he used his friend's photos to catfish me, like his best friend. Yeah. So when he was um, like, I was like, oh, what's your ID? He gave me his friend's ID. So I had oh, his friend. Oh God, this guy knew he was ugly, child. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so after the fact I made him comfortable enough so I wanted him to tell me the truth so I was like you're fine like you can just tell me like you didn't have to do all this knowing damn well I was like you're ugly as so fuck why would you do this but I really wanted to know I really wanted to know who like who you are so he told me like that's his best friend and he had his friend's tinder account and he saw my photo and he liked me or whatever so now that some time has passed I like wash my hands with them. I was like, I don't even know if the friend knows about what he was doing or whatever. Mm-hmm. But the real person in the photos, like, always likes my photos, always replies to my stories on Instagram. And I'm like, well, I did want to talk to him first anyways. <gasps> but then all my friends are like, wash your hands with it. You don't know if he was in on it. Yeah. He play you. And I'm like, would you be comfortable with your friend using your photos? Like, I feel like he went behind his back. And the way he talks to me, I feel like I don't know if he knows or not. And I'm like, I don't know if I should go through with it. And if I do go through with it, if I should tell him or not or how to bring it up. Like, I'm not trying to be like, oh, you was talking to my bro. But like, you know, like things like that. Yeah. So I just don't know what to do. If I should just leave him alone or if I should just like, because I wanted to talk to him anyways. And he is kind of nice to so like, you know, go your back. But it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, Okay. Whew, this is heavy. <laughs> I try to condense the catfish story so it wouldn't be too much. <laughs> no, 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 no. I hear you. I hear you. I'm just like, dang. Yeah, I just wow. Like info at you. I know. Okay, so you you don't talk to the catfisher anymore, right? The catfish. No. We're okay. not friends, but I have both of them on Instagram. Okay, first thing you need to do is block him because it's weird. Yeah. The weirdo, you need to block him. Secondly, if you are truly interested in pursuing some type of friendship or whatever with the, you know, I'll call him the victim because he was the one in the picture. If you, if you want to pursue something with him, I think you have to ask him straight up and tell him to be honest if he was in on it at all. And if it's an answer that you don't like, then you don't have to talk to him. At least you don't have any emotions invested here to where you're like, Mm, but I it was just wanna... weird because, like, while me and the catfish were speaking, the real person would interact with me on Instagram. So, I, oh. so like, that's why I was so that's why I, like thought it was him. So, but did he know? Is my question. That's why I'm confused. I'm like, I don't know if he knows or not. And I'm like, I like, was he like, trying to help him out, or like, would he like allude to conversations that y'all were having? Because he just gave me like his friend's IG name. No, I hear you, but like, like, okay, so y'all would have conversations, right, via phone or text. Would you allude to something that you guys have talked about on the phone via Instagram no, messages? No, no, no. It would just be like regular hard eyes. Where are you from? You look amazing. Like regular, like oh, this girl just followed me on Instagram. Let me try okay. to talk to her. Okay. Okay. And I'm like, I don't know if he knows. I don't. A part of me really feels like he does not know. Cause the other guy gave me like kind of insecure, like why would you use your friends? Child, 
Me personally, I'd wash my hands of the situation completely. I wouldn't talk to either one of them. But like I said, we're in quarantine, so I get it. I get you shit. I, I get it. I get it. So if you want to see if you want to pursue something with it, I would definitely want it to be based on honesty. And the only way to do that is to get an honest answer. Were you or were you not involved in said, you know, if you weren't, if you weren't, then, you know, maybe we could kick it a couple times here and here. Yeah. But if you were, then, you know, it is what it is. But I would definitely, on a petty note, I would definitely dress it up in a way to where he's, you're like, I mean, it's a cool if you were involved. I just want to know. Just so you can get that answer. Because, you know, uh, I'm not going to lie. Oh my God. Men lie. I just don't want to come off as, like, those girls that, like, hang out with the whole group of friends. Because that's not what I'm trying to get. But you're not. But you're not. You got catfished. So you're not. That's not your fault. That's not your fault that you were deceived. Boys will somehow try to... Nah, they can't. How old are these guys? Um, I'm 23. Um, okay, girl. They, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. What's the childish, okay? <laughs> they are, but they shouldn't. They're like best friends. Like they post photos of, with each other. If they're best friends, girl, toss them both in the trash. Cause that he knew. He knew. You think so? He knew. He she knew. Just, he knew. Just so insecure. He knew. Okay. All right. Toss them both in the trash. <laughs> and get right back on Tinder. I hear Hinge is good. <laughs> well that is also advisable well i'm glad you're safe and i'm glad that you're still here looking beautiful thank you <laughs> well now i will be going on another crazy date with someone i probably will get catfish by again so i mean I you, you know you learned your lesson and now you just carry it on forth okay yeah. i just had to know i just had to get the advice just so like i can know to really watch because i'm Indecisive, so. Girl, same. Uh, okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank I you for joining me. So nice, with you. nice talking I'll to you, boo. You. you have a good I'll one. You as well. Bye. All right, y'all. So for this last person that needs advice, they didn't want their face to be shown on camera. So I thought we could go ahead and bring someone that might have been able to relate to their situation in the past on, and I'm going to bring on my cousin Zuby. Hey, everyone. Say hi to everyone, Zuby. Say <laughs> I meant the other way around. <laughs> okay, take two. All right, y'all. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this letter. So Ricky says, I like my straight best friend who could be bi, but the odds are not in my favor. I've been considering telling him, but I'm low-key afraid it'll ruin our relationship. He was the first person I was ever able to trust, and he's been with me through the worst times. So I sometimes feel like it won't change anything, but I'm also scared it will change a lot. On the other hand, I don't want to keep it in and never know what could have been, because I really like him. He's literally everything I want in a man, and spending the rest of my life with him doesn't seem like such a bad idea. Should I stay quiet or speak my truth? So, when I was still in the earlier process of coming out, but to be honest, queer people are always coming out. When I was deciding who to come out to, it was never to persuade anyone of anything. It was only me being like, this is an integral, important part of me, and so that's why I'm choosing to share with you, because you as a person in my life that's a loved one should know. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, if you should only ever come out to this person if you can trust that they would make you feel safe or loved. Um, I don't know, it's really tricky saying this person is straight, might be bi, but it's like, I wouldn't. Yeah, he wants to He wants to know if he should pursue them. It's, a, it's his best friend. I say, I, I, I agree with what you said earlier, I don't know if they heard that, but proximity really is everything if you are young and do you want to lose a lifetime friendship over something that you could just really be comfortable with? Because it could really just be comfort, you being in love with this man. 
Well, my thing is, so what I was saying earlier about proximity was like, especially when I was younger, it was like, all I needed were the following requisites. It was someone that was close to me, someone that doesn't make me feel bad for being gay, mm. and then it was a man. It was like, check, 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 all I needed. Older I get, of course, I realize there are other needs and wants that um, are expected of a partner. But um, the issue for me isn't about maintaining the friendship. It's more about this person's own well-being. Yeah. I don't want you going to be expecting this person to like you back. Ooh. You should only ever ex- express your truth and to talk about simply your identity as opposed to your life for them. Because what I said before, is this person in your life that you care about and they should care about you. Um, but I think it's I think it's tricky if you're going down the road of telling them with the intention of hoping to date them. Yeah. You know, because like you said, you don't think that they are even bisexual, it's a slim chance. So I would say if you're going to tell them, you should be okay with accepting that their you might be for rejected. You may not be reciprocated. Being yeah. Reciprocated. Yeah. I agree. Oh wow, you hit the nail on the head for that one. I think I think that says it all. Cause, woo! I'm glad I called you. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. But yeah, I definitely agree. Um, it's definitely more about how you feel rather than the friendship staying. And if that could be uh, um, a reason to why you feel bad about yourself, that those feelings not being reciprocated, then I think you should safeguard yourself rather than um, going for it and wondering what if. I always say that if the means justify or the ends justify the means, then Great, but if they don't, I don't like those risks, personally. And then also, what I said about proximity was, it was because I was younger and in a more contained environment, there were less options. Mm. <laughs> the more you go out to the world, whether that be uh, college or the workforce. And this is for anyone, it doesn't matter your sexuality. Like, there are just, there are, when I tell y'all, there are so many fish in this, like, literally it's not even worth it sweating over one person or putting all your hopes in one person, especially if you're still young, which I'm assuming Yeah, I'm you are. assuming, yeah. It's like, if, even if it doesn't work out with this person, I promise you it's not over for you. It's not remotely over for you. It's not. Well, I hope we help you guys. All right, y'all. So I hope that someone was helped out there with all the advice that was given out today. Make sure to go ahead and send your questions to AskCindyRolla at gmail.com if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns that you want me to go ahead and give you advice on. You want me to go ahead and try and tackle that for the touchdown. <laughs> okay, I know that was corny. I know y'all don't, don't even. I hope that I see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. Comment down below what you liked about it and subscribe to your girl's channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay blessed and beautiful gems and I love you guys so much. Hit me up if you wanna make love. But don't call my phone.